Yo, what's going on, YouTube? It's me, the Bolt the Bear, and we're back with another build. It's not so much a request as somebody recommending a build to me. This was one of the most fun builds, and I'm probably going to say a ton in the video, but this is one of the most fun builds I've done in a long time. The, the new Dracula perk dominance is just phenomenal. At, phenomenal? <laughs> phenomenal at protecting hex builds. You won't always see value out of... Uh, devour hope or anything like that but i definitely saw a difference and i had a great time with it it actually makes me want to run more hex builds so you're potentially going to see dominance in a few more videos hope you guys enjoy that but before we get into that make sure to slap a like on the video sub if you want to it does help me and it helps me understand what you guys want to see more of and did you know that we're slowly creeping in on my goal of 1k by the end of the year we are like less than 30 away so just tell some family members, you know, make them making a no, I'm just kidding. But yeah, guys, I really do appreciate you guys smashing this goal by the end of the year. And I can't wait to make more videos about it. But let's get into what the build is. We have a Devour Hope. When a survivor is unhooked at least 24 meters away, Devour Hope receives a token. Two tokens, you gain a 5% haste status effect 10 seconds after hooking a survivor for a duration of 10 seconds. Three tokens, you, survivors suffer from the exposed status effect, meaning you can one-shot them. Five tokens, grants the ability to kill survivors by your own hands. Essentially, you get a Mori every time. So the second perk we have is Dominance. This is Dracula's new perk. The first time each totem in each, each, each chest is interacted with by a survivor, that totem or chest is blocked by the entity for eight seconds. The auras of blocked totems and chests are revealed to you in white. Then we have Undying, the second form of insurance. Actually, this is the first form of insurance. No, it would be the second. Um, while Hex Undying is active, survivors within 4 meters of any doll totem have their aura revealed. When another Hex totem would be cleansed, that totem's Hex transfers to the Hex Undying totem, de deactivating Hex Undying. Any tokens the transferred Hex had are transferred as well. And then for our final perk, this one is a sleeper hit. I, I wanted to try it out because they said to, and it did not disappoint. Rancor, each time a generator is completed, your obsession sees your aura for three seconds. Each time a generator is completed, all survivors' locations are revealed to you for three seconds. Once the exit gates are powered, the obsession has the exposed status effect, and you can kill them just like you do with the Mori. The add-ons we have, we have Improvised Cattle Prod. Each time a generator is completed, a 15-second timer starts. Any survivor who comes within 10 meters of a control station during that time has their aura revealed for the remainder of the timer. I couldn't remember what the if they even recommended a second perk, so what I chose was semiotic keyboard. Generators within 16 meters of a turret have the intensity of their auras determined by their repair progression. I figured this one would be nice just to keep an eye on generators. Since we have the aura reading as well, we can just keep an eye on everything the survivors are doing. This build is insanely fun. I highly recommend it. And I hope you guys enjoy it. I will see you in the match. Yo, we're in. We got the Hex build with Rancor. This build is a lot of fun. Dominance, it, it completes the build. I never thought uh, I needed this until I used it. Whoever recommended this build was insanely, insanely right with Rancor. Like, Rancor is something i didn't think i needed so like if you're wondering how i know i used this build all last night on my stream to test it out and i want to say out of like 20 matches maybe we uh oh, nice nice one out of like 20 matches it's a rough estimate i don't know if that's the exact amount but like we won every single one aside from two like and one of them was a draw one was a draw and then the other one we actually got beat but uh oh yeah that's crazy I'm dying gone within the first 50, 50 seconds of the match. That's okay. That's in our insurance policy. Um, I heard somebody breathe. Hello? But yeah, it, this build is super fun. I recommend it. Uh, like I said, if you guys ever want to stop by the stream, feel free to do so. I don't, I know I don't normally advertise it that much, but I do stream a lot of Dead by Daylight and I, uh, the occasional JRPG here and there. She's just, she's just a W holder, man. Holding that dub. Will she get? Yep, 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 yep. I love these rocks with the slight curves on them. All right, we get the down. We'll pick her up, throw her up on the hook. And this this isn't necessarily a build that I'm showcasing. Um, 
getting devour value out of. This is more of a build that I'm showing, like, you can make hex builds work better with dominance and undying to partner together. It just works. It's really nice. Yeah, I, I'm one that's like, I don't really use a lot of hex builds for that reason. But now that I've seen this, I might actually just like, I might actually just go for it. Damn, dude, I hate... I'm not gonna lie, I know it's a meme type thing, but like... <laughs> the scene partner really annoys me sometimes with how much they scream. Alright. Break that. They don't have this pallet, but dude, it's so hard to track them. I do hear her though. Alright, Meg, what do you got for me here? Oh, that was a nice fake. That was a really good fake. Can I get this? Yes, I can. Alright, we'll pick her up. We only have one stack. I think we were I think we were too close when the when the first person got unhooked, so that's alright. We'll throw her up and see what we can't do around here. I just I gotta keep an eye on this because this is this is actually a really terrible token spot. Like really bad. Like they likely already already saw it. Alright. Stop screaming, man. Alright, yeah, we just eat the turret there. We eat the turret and take the damage. I'm alright with that. I'm chill with that, bro. They this loop, they just keep running into this main loop, man. And it's not even that bad. It's not even a bad loop. You can play this for a decent amount of time. Especially since I'm M one ing right now because I'm out of turret. I mean I'm out of turret. Alright. Alright. That should be a hit. Oh no. David coming in for the assist. And I don't have my tail yet, so I can't even. Oh, he's just leaving. That's alright. We'll take the M1 there. I probably could have got a tail strike, but you know. I'm not flexing or nothing. We take what we can get. Boop. I do want to get that going for you guys when we uh when we hit 1k I'm probably gonna do an M2 only or a uh, no pallet or both at the same time M2 only and no pallet breaking oh hello see they know they know about my totem oh they're all here in this area um okay we'll take this way we'll head around Try and cut her off. Oh, that was such a nice fake on her part. Oh, but she messed up too. We get the down there. I do want to slug her for a second because I don't want them to get this totem. Um, okay. It's about scratch marks. I did see scratch marks. We'll head this way. I'm just making sure nobody's around there. I don't want to. I don't want anybody getting anything for free. They're healing over here. Uh, ooh, you actually, <laughs> that was a cheeky shot. I don't know if I, right, we, we just got to take the tail strike here. That's all right. Uh, I do want to go up and like check my totem though. I, I, I do. Um, what are you doing? What are you doing? Can you get off my stuff? Don't touch my stuff. This is my stuff. Right. I think somebody just got on that. Uh, I'm going to hope that I can get up there in time. What is it, 12 seconds to break a totem? So this is going to be very close. I don't know if I get this or not. Let's see. Get off of it. No. <laughs> Wait. If she broke the totem, how did we, how did we insta down her? That doesn't make any sense. If we insta-downed her, there would be no way for her to have broken the totem because she would have got knocked off of it. Damn, dude, that was like literally, like instant. Like they had to both happen simultaneously. There's no. That's so unlucky, man. That's so unlucky because she went. She, she was she injured. I don't remember if she was injured or she wasn't. Right. I don't remember. I, I, I'd have to go back and look. 
but as far as I know, she wasn't she she wasn't injured. She was fully healed. Oh, that's that's so annoying. All right, man. All right, we'll pick him up, throw him over the hook. We got plenty of value out of the out of the hex build. Uh, not undying, but we did get an inch down, I guess. <laughs> so now we're just playing. Uh, we're playing two perk. Two perk uh, xenomorph. Two perk xenomorph. You're the one that did this. Ooh, we just grazed her hitbox. You did this to me. You made me the way I am, Nia. Oh, my little my little tail, man. My little tail is getting burned. Get that on my face. Break this. See, these new maps are pretty bad for survivors, man. I mean, they have this strong section in the center, but like that's it. These new variations are not very good. Alright, she's like, dude, she's super patient, man. We're just gonna hold W here. I think she made a mistake. Never mind, she had dead hard. Never mind, she had dead hard, dude. She dead hard into me. Ooh, but then she made a mistake herself. What are we doing here? What are we. Oh my. Oh, she's like, if I had a flashlight, you'd be done, kid. You'd be done. <laughs> All right. Um, oh, she's gone. We'll kick this. We'll kick this. Yeah, so she definitely had a full health bar, right? On the last one. Otherwise, she would have dead hearted the, uh, the hit. Four gens, too. Holy crap. Uh, what's up, David? What's up, David? Uh, what's he doing here? What are you doing here, man? What are you doing? Alright, we still get the hit there. That's great. Um, double back. Double into the backpack. Where did you go, buddy? Did he just leave? What a psychopath, man. He just left that loop entirely. How insane do you have to be? Okay. I would, uh... I, I want to kick this. I want to kick this. I don't know where you where this dude went. Oh, he's going back. He's going back. Well, guess what I'm going to do? Tail strike. <laughs> the scream after the fact. Ah! Uh -huh. uh -huh. Oh, he threw the wood in my face, bro. Boss. Take that. Act like I'm going up there. Man's is stuck. You done? Game over for you, man. He was looking behind him like he had dead heart. I was making sure he didn't have dead heart. They might finish another gen here, though. Uh... Oh, no. They finished the one that I kicked. Okay. Well, that's all right, then. I know, I know where they are now. They were, they're over there healing up. I did notice that. Just so you guys know. I do notice things. I have eyes. What is up, Meg? What are you... I don't know what I was shooting at there, dude. I don't know what I was shooting at. Not them. Clearly. Alright, what are we doing here? Oh, okay. Well, no. I'm not gonna let that stand. Okay. <laughs> Hi, Meg. Hello. Up on the hook he goes. Uh, she went up here, right? I'm going to go around. I'm going to go around and see if I can't catch her off guard. Maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. She might drop down. And... She did drop down. Okay. Well, you know what? Instead of going after the fully healed one, I'm just going to take her out. I'm going to take him out. He plot twisted again. Do they have power struggle? I wonder. Well, he doesn't have DS, so he's dead now. <laughs> so GG's. GG's. Let's go into the next one.
Let's go. They sent me to RPD, dude. I'm not happy about it. I'm not happy about it, man. But it's alright, because this build is fun. I think I'm going to use this build more consistently. It's just been... it's Like, like I said, we've been using it on stream. We used it all stream yesterday. I'm going to start doing that. Whenever somebody recommends a build, I think I'm going to use it on stream to get a little feel for it, for it first. What's up? Uh, okay. What are we doing here? I think we're going to use it to get a feel for it first. And then, uh... Because, like, yesterday, I want to say... Dude, we we had a ton of success with this build. Um, it was just... It was a lot of fun. Like, I was using it... Um, even when I had a, cha a challenge to sacrifice survivors. Alright, that's un Undying Gone again. Early. Um... I had to sacrifice survivors and I was using it and I, I kept forgetting. I was like, oh, I'm never going to get this challenge done because I keep I keep using Devour Hope and getting value out of Devour Hope. I'm always shocked when that happens. <laughs> that hits me. That hits me. All right. All right. My big ass alien head, dude. Big ass alien head. All right. All right. She's over. She's running around there. This is why I kind of hate Devour Hope, is because, like, not Devour Hope, RPD. I hate Devour, I mean, I hate RPD because, like, this 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 area here is just stupid. You can just sit there and run in circles. We are having a slow start. Um, she created that. Uh-oh. Nancy just fucking throwing a flame turret into my face. It's alright. I'll take the M1 here. I ain't opposed to it. I'm one of the I'm one of the few Xenomorph players that probably will stay in M1 mode more. I just patrol, man. It's why you shouldn't you shouldn't really mirror my playstyle when it comes to like listen like listen to what I say rather than do what I do. Um I'm I'm all right being an M1 uh, killer. I do know that you could be you could be in your power faster if you just went into the tunnels, but I don't like I, I don't care about doing that. All right, you better quit this. Uh, <laughs> um, but as a xenomorph as a Zen xenomorph main, you should be uh, going into tunnels. Yeah, I'm gonna give her the no nos. Um, you should be going into your tunnels. Uh, if you're not actively in a chase, or if you feel uncomfortable chasing as an M1 killer. Because you don't have any anti-loop at that point, at all. Which is fine. Like, uh, like there's nothing wrong with breaking chase and popping into your tunnel. Uh, but... That can happen consistently against good survivors, which is why I train myself to get used to not having my power. Because against good survivors, a lot of the time, you, uh... You won't have that luxury all like a lot of the match. You get your tail strikes in while you can, and um, resource management, 100% resource management. That's what I do. I'm always thinking about if if, if they drop this pallet. Ah, uh, that was a bad tail strike. Um, if they drop this pallet now, I won't have to worry about it later. All right. I didn't think she. I she 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 didn't respect the tail, dude. She didn't respect the tail. So we're going to punish her for that. Alright, so a little tip on uh, on that. If you're new to Xenomorph. Um, be careful lunging while you're in tail strike. While getting hit by the turret. Because it will reduce your lunge. Because it's slowing you down. Happens to me all the time. Happens to me all the time. All right, what's up? It's you again. All right, we got two stacks of Devour Hope. I'll, we'd love to see it. You better quit that shit. Getting real tired of you. What is it, Sybil? 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 I'm getting real sick of your shit. Can I get this hit? Ooh, oh. <gasps> we got it. You better quit it. Take that. Strike! Oh, it was on point. It just was. She was just out of range. Just out of range. Oh my. That, that noise actually scared me. 
Then you'll get you get so many people that get mad, like you've broken so many turrets and you didn't get knocked out of your power. Well yeah, because that's not the sole purpose of um the turret. The turret's to like time management, right? How much of my of my time have they wasted by putting this turrets down? Nice. Nice tail strike. The, you gotta think about that too. Like the, the turrets the turrets aren't just to get you out of power. It, it is a nice it, it's a nice feature, yes. But uh, they're not solely meant to get you out of power. Look at these guys. Look at these dudes. Uh, break this. Head down here. I don't think I want to actually pursue them over there. Because then they're going to just like... I'm not going to get my third stack of Devour. We'll pick this. We got time. We got time. Now we head down. Because now the real game begins and I can play catch up. Because these guys have been playing pretty well so far. Um, but we've also gotten rid of a few good pallets. I'm not going to lie. We've gotten rid of a, a few good ones. We'll throw her in the center just so... Oh, I see Lara up there. Yeah, we've gotten rid of almost that entire left side of the map. Is essentially a dead zone. So I'm going to come here... I'm gonna kind of stick to this side for a minute to see if Lara stayed around here. Uh, 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 uh. Right, I do see scratch marks. Not there. Ooh, oh, we get the hit too. Oh my god. Devour value, baby. One thing I don't like about Devour is that it kind of makes me focus on M1s. I do want to get out of range so I can get my 4 stack. There it is. There's our 4 stack. Uh, I'm going to head up here. I see them over there. Ooh, hello. Nice dead hard. I think that was a dead hard. That's actually a really well-timed dead hard. We are in Mori territory. Right. Did she rotate this way? No, she went all the way around. That's okay. That's okay. We'll head this way. I don't know why they're healing up. Uh, does that seems like a waste of time? Um, they should be. A, somebody should be over here still, right? No, I don't hear anything. They're probably across the map. Yeah, I don't understand why they would heal up, especially if they got Devour. We got five stacks, so we, I would like to... This is usually when it breaks, right? Is when you have five stacks, they're terrified. Uh, we'll pop out of here. That is a good totem spot we have, though. Break this. And kick this. Bop, bop. And then I'm going to rotate around this way to see if any of them are coming through the main. I don't think so. I don't see any of them up there. I'm going to touch my toe. I heard somebody fall. I think. Did I hear somebody fall? Yeah, I had to have. That wasn't a zombie. Somebody, somebody was up there. Oh, hello. Oh, nice. She had, Is that Sprint Burst? It had to have been Sprint Burst. Uh, this is a dead zone now. Um, you're just done. You're out. We get the we get you down and the Mori. So, a goodbye, Alara. Boom. I did see somebody running in front of me there. Give Xenomorph a little kiss. Didn't even get her ponytail, man. It left her ponytail there. What are we doing? <laughs> All right. Break this. We, we are at Mori potential, so, like, I don't... I hope we get another one. It'd be nice. Uh, for some reason, that, oh, that was a nice fake. That was super nice fake on Nia's part. Mm, she's gonna be. I was gonna say she's not gonna be nearly as greedy. All right. Some loud, some loud drivers outside. Oh, she was silent, man. 
Take that. We get the down there, and we get. Oh, come on, come on. Let me get the mori. Let me get the mori. Right in the pallets, dude. Right in the pallet. Mori time. Come here, Nia. It's so cinematic. Oh, and they broke it. No. What if that cut off the mori when they did that? Oh, man. They broke it, but we got... Hey, I'm happy. We got we got two uses out of it. Uh, that's fine by me, man. That's fine by me. That's two people out of the game. We, we, we brought this back better than we ever could have dreamed. This build, you guys need to try it out. You need to try this build out. Whether it be on Xenomorph, I was using it on Dracula. I had the same amount of success as I did on uh, Xenomorph. Uh, obviously not as much because Xenomorph has a little bit more freedom to travel. But Dracula has his um, has his bat form. So, dude, the, the, they're staying in these areas. Yeah, you messed up. You messed up. <laughs> this is a GG's though, man. Ooh, but she's not dead yet. She's not dead yet. I mean, it's still the GGs. I highly doubt they're gonna they're gonna do anything. Um, they're probably gonna let go, and somebody's gonna go for hatch, right? I'm gonna guess. Kick this. Should be a GGs. Let's see. GGs. All right, those are the matches that I chose, but I could have chosen any of them. We got a lot of value out of the perks. These are just probably the closer ones that I d dealt with. It was really fun. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. I'm probably going to do more hex builds with something similar to this. Probably might take out on dying, but I just want that insurance, you know? But overall, it's really good. Rancor really helps keep uh, an idea of where survivors are. Partnered with the Improvised Cattle Prod, and you always have value somewhere. Um, make sure to check it out, guys. Make sure to slap a like on the video. Sub if you want to. It helps me understand what you guys want to see more of. And we're almost to the goal of 1K by the end of the year. I'm pretty sure you guys are tired of hearing it. But as always, stay safe. Have a wonderful rest of your days, nights, whatever time it is for you. And I will see you in the next one. Peace.